Hi, my name is Steve and this channel is all about hiking, backpacking, and enjoying the outdoors in Southern California and beyond. If that interests you, consider subscribing. Now join me as we check out the features and specifications of the Six Moon Design Skyscape Trekker. Again, this is going to be another one of those uh, videos that's a little bit different than the rest. Uh, instead of going over the actual specifications, like literally the numbers and the measurements, um, I thought I'd do something a little bit different uh, and actually go over some of the gear uh, that I plan on taking when I'm going to be taking this uh, Skyscape Trekker out on an adventure here in about a week, uh, week and a half. Um, that way you can kind of see some of the features and specifications when you have actual gear in there. Now inside the tent, I'll go ahead and open up the door. I have a representative amount of gear to kind of give you an idea of some of the things that I'm going to be taking. Now, of course, this is not everything that I'm going to be taking, but this is certainly some of the major pieces that I'm going to have with me. Um, inside here, I have a pillow, a uh, sleeping pad, which is a Neo Air X-Lite, very common pad for a lot of people a uh, enlightened equipment 20 degree quilt and then a uh, ULA uh, circuit and I'm going to go ahead and take you uh, into the inside of this tent and kind of get an idea of what everything looks like when it's all packed in there and it'll kind of give you a better idea of some of the space that you have if you were to choose this as your primary shelter. All right, as we take a look at the head of the tent you can kind of see the amount of space that you have over there that's kind of a standard pillow that I've been using for a few months and I really enjoy it. Um, but that really isn't much bigger than an Aeros, I think that's how you say it, pillow. Uh, a lot of people use that pillow. And um, that kind of gives you an idea of what you have as far as headspace is concerned. Now I said in my other video, which I'll go ahead and link in the card, um, that you can kind of put some of your knickknacks up at the top of your head. You definitely have space over there uh, to put stuff uh, in. Around the top of your head you can put whatever it be, a water uh, bottle of water or, um, you know, a lot of times I take all my knickknacks and, and put them into one stuff sack and leave them in there. That can easily go at the uh, head over there and it's uh, also easy access and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it helps you keep things organized. Along the side, along the side over here you can see you have ample space to add all sorts of other things that you may want to add, whether it be clothes, whether it be dirty shoes. Um, Really, it's, it's quite amazing how much space is actually in this tent. For being a one-person tent, it sure is got a lot of hidden areas where you can place gear. Now, as we're looking at the, uh, the foot of the tent, you can easily see that a backpack can fit actually at the bottom over there. Um, you can kind of shove some extra clothes or whatever you have in there. If you're really quite organized, you can actually keep your backpack in here with you. And you still have some room over there by the feet to go ahead and add something. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to show you guys, another really cool feature of this tent, if you look at, so yeah, right over here, you see how much space, get that back in focus, you see how much space you have between your feet and the top of the tent? Now I haven't even guyed out that wall over there. You can still guy out that wall and bring it up higher, but what's really cool about this tent is that right off the bat, it has plenty of space for your feet. So as you kind of toss and turn, you're not going to end up tapping the, uh, the uh, wall of the tent with your feet and possibly getting uh, any sort of condensation on the foot of your uh, sleeping bag. Now I did also address the fact that a lot of stuff is becoming down tech now and that's really you know not the biggest problem in the world but again if you can avoid condensation why not go ahead and do it. And the beauty of this thing is that uh, of this tent is that it's already designed to kind of account for that that kind of uh, potential problem. You get another look at uh, the tent from the head end over here looking down. Again, you can kind of see the amount of space that you have uh, right over there. I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit. But there you go, that's what I was talking about. If you kind of angle your, your sleeping pad diagonal, uh, in a diagonal fashion, kind of going into, into that corner over there, you actually have quite a bit of space in this Skyscape Trekker uh, to put stuff right next to you. And again, still at the head of the tent. Um, yeah, I'm really, really quite surprised. For a one-person shelter, this thing is absolutely spacious um, beyond belief. It really creates a, a pretty, pretty good environment uh, to be able to uh, 
you know, if you're stuck in your tent or if you're sleeping, it creates a pretty good environment for you to actually uh, be able to live in your tent as opposed to just being cooped up in, uh, in something. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the tent and kind of give you guys an idea of what uh, kind of space you have in there. Uh, I am by no means a small guy. And uh, if you're a person of, uh, of average stature, uh, this is probably gonna be more than adequate for you because even I could tell you for myself when I've hopped inside there, it's certainly been very spacious. So let me go ahead and uh, do that. For those of you that own a dog, you could probably uh, you could probably even get a dog in here quite easily. Bella, you want to come inside? Come inside. Hmm? Come on, come on. You want to come inside? Are you worried? Yeah, our dog's a little scaredy cat. But um, as you can see, there's ample space inside here. Um, I got in and out very easily. Um, even when I'm inside here and I'm laying down. Um, you know, I'm not gonna put this all the way over because I got the microphone. But I mean, just laying in here, this is super simple. I certainly feel I have plenty of space even when I look up. What's really nice too is when I look up, I have a lot of space for my head so that uh, takes away the claustrophobic feel uh, almost immediately, um, which is great. Um, also, if you're one of those people that's a side sleeper like I am, um, even have enough space to sleep sideways. You sleep sideways with no problem. I have no danger of touching touching the top. I mean, I'm touching now, but I mean, it's, if I'm just laying my feet there, I've got easily at least six inches worth of space between me and the floor. And again, remember, or me and the uh, canopy. And remember, I haven't even guide out the canopy. I can still bring this up higher and keep my feet uh, uh, away from there, on top of the fact that I have the ability to push up further into the, uh, the head of the tent and uh, um, kind of keep myself even further away from this canopy uh, because I'm just sitting further back. But uh, yeah, for this kind of setup, the amount of uh, space it actually takes to set up and the amount of space that you get inside, uh, this tent's really going to be hard to beat. And um, getting out of the tent is just about as easy as getting into the tent. It's by far the easiest shelter that I've had to work with. Okay, let's take a look at one more uh, direction. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the tent again. And this time you guys can kind of take a look to see how much space you got with the feet. Um, once somebody's, somebody's in here. Okay, so as you can see, I'm laying down. My feet are sticking up. I have plenty of space over there. I mean, it is a little bit close, but really in the grand scheme of things, again, I have tons of space still over here where I can push my pad into, into the head of the tent and kind of get away from there. But um, yeah, it's perfectly fine. And again, you guys can see what it's like when somebody's sideways. For those of you that are sideways sleepers, it actually provides even more room because your feet are laying flatter. So one of the other things I want to show you guys is how easy it is to open and close the doors. I actually have not tried it from the inside yet. I've been walking around with this tent um, in my yard, going back and forth, opening and closing doors on the outside, but this is gonna be the first time that I actually do it from the inside. So let's go ahead and give this thing a go. So, let's see. So again, plenty of space. Um, I gotta take this toggle out, which releases the net. I can let go of the door and reattach 
the oops reattach the netting so it's a little bit easier to do okay so now I've got the door loose and I'm gonna go ahead and just try to close it from the inside here there you go very simple to do I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna do I'm also gonna bring you guys on the inside over here because I want you guys to see how much vestibule space I guess you know if one could could knock this shelter in any one area I have to say it's probably vestibule space I mean really it only seems like you can maybe fit a pair of shoes in here at, at maximum but um, again you can easily bring your your pack into the shelter and you have plenty of space with a little bit of organization um, there's going to be plenty of space um, that you have but um, we'll go ahead and bring you guys in real quick here so you guys can kind of take a look at what I'm seeing <laughs> oh this is so awkward <laughs> uh, some of YouTube's finest finest video right here friends oh you'll never get those seconds back everybody sorry about that okay so right up there at the top is where um, we're gonna be able to go ahead and close the door very simple process I mean it's definitely easy to reach out there but here's what I'm talking about so I have a size 12 shoe and uh, this is right here at the edge that kind of gives you an idea of the true vestibule space that's in this uh, that's in the shelter I'm also have my ULA circuit pack let's see let's get this shoe out of the way or a sandal and we'll go ahead and set this guy up so towards the back oh hi dog how are you oh okay you want to come inside now you want to join the video okay Bella Bella say hi 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 okay 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 I like you too and get a backpack in there certainly doable uh, even if it was full it, it could certainly I mean you could certainly make it work it wouldn't it wouldn't be that big of a problem but yeah I mean if I could fault anything on the shelter I would say that the uh, the vestibule space is a little bit lacking but still I mean the amount of space that you have inside here is just absolutely silly you know I mean I'm, I'm tucked you know way into the other side and and I still feel like you know I've got plenty of room here without any sort of a problem okay another one of the features that are pretty cool of this tent is the uh, the pocket that it has over here I mean it's certainly it certainly isn't a ton of space but it's uh, it's enough for um, a cell phone or something that you want to cle keep handy and uh, close by let me grab my cell phone that way you guys can kind of take a look and uh, see how much space you actually have iPhone 7 plus and an otter case let's we'll see how well that works in there man does well enough you know see, that was kind of interesting let's move this out of the way I mean, I guess it basically works. <laughs> I'm not going to expect any miracles with that, with that pocket, but uh, you know, it certainly keeps it in a place that's uh, easily accessible. I mean, I can't, you know, yeah. I mean, it's just as easy to to set the phone down over there in the corner. A lot of times, that's what I do. I just set my phone down somewhere where I know on the floor of my tent, or I kind of keep it close to me um, when I'm sleeping. But uh, yeah, you do have a pocket on the inside over here. Again, we got the backpack over here. Let me go ahead and move this this guy out of the way. But, yeah, there you go. And if you wanted to open it up, very easy to reach. And there you go. Free to uh, get in and out of. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you found it informative or helpful, I'd appreciate if you let me know by giving me a thumbs up down below. And while you're at it, check out some of the other videos I've done on the Skyscape Trekker. I think you'll find them just as informative and helpful. Until next time, take care.